My wife's name is Mary. Freezy Point, 1940s, had my parents bought a bungalow. I probably did meet her that summer. We were both nine at the time. She was my, uh, my friend's wacky sister. <laughs> my name is Bill, and I'm one of the lucky ones. When we started dating, we hit it off right away. Now, it's a funny thing, I, I look back, when I think about different things that happened, I don't remember a whole scene. It's like I'm just looking at a snapshot. I just remember, you know, some particular thing frozen in time. The twist. She had learned the twist. She had gone down to the Jersey Shore. So she said, do you want a twist? And I said, well, I'm not drunk enough. We did the twist for like 30 years. <laughs> she wanted to be pregnant and she wasn't getting pregnant. So she's going to the hospital you know, to find out why she's not becoming pregnant. And they said, well, you don't have to worry about it because you are pregnant. And then our first was born the following June. When she was in her teens, she was interested in the roller derby. And the New York Chiefs said, Jerry Murray was a star. So my father-in-law called her Murray. And I picked that up from my father-in-law, and I always called her Murray. The only time I called her was, was when I was annoyed at her. And you know, as soon as you know, I was annoyed, and I said Mary, and she, you know, she knew right away that I was really ticked off about something. When I load up the dishwasher, I gotta cram it to the treetops because Mary would be very annoyed if she saw me do a half a load. One night, I'm coming home from work, and I get off the train at Quentin Road and East 16th Street. And this particular night, they had a bunch of vendors selling flowers. So I said to myself, I'll get Mary some flowers. And I come in the door, and she looks up and, and says, Bill, what did you do? I go, I didn't do anything. I just thought you would enjoy the flowers. And she went, what did you do? Tell me what you did. And this went on and on. I said, I will never, ever buy you flowers again. I was never much of a talker, but my wife could talk. I used to tell her that she would talk to a brick wall for hours on end. So I didn't have to do too much talking at home because, you know, you couldn't get a word in edgewise, you know. With her illness, she lost the ability to talk. Maybe it was two or three weeks before she passed away. That was, you know, that was, I mean, but that was hard to take. That was a very difficult time. Almost every day I think about, about her and how she enjoyed things. All she had talked about for years, she couldn't wait till I retired so we could do things to go take walks together. So I always had this feeling, which I guess in my generation that was the thing, that the husband was gonna pass away before the wife. And so you wanted to prepare, you know, ha leave something for the wife, you know, at the same time she was declining in health because the lower left lung was removed, but the cancer had already spread through the lymph glands. So she needed help around the house. So I retired from the city. And about two weeks after I, uh, you know, retired, she had a, you know, a seizure and took her to the hospital. And in six months, you know, to live or less, I, I thought they were nuts. I just, you know, never, never crossed my mind. My two daughters, Dorothy and Elizabeth, were getting her ready for bed, and they said, you go to bed, we'll take care of her. The next morning, I came down, and she had passed away during the night. So I'd go upstairs, I'd be laying in bed, and I'm going, where the heck is she? What the heck can she be doing downstairs? I have seven kids. The one thing I do regret, she loved being a grandmother. So we had six at the time she passed away. One granddaughter, five grandsons. The four grandchildren since then have all been girls. Whenever I think about that, I get a kick out of it because it's unfortunate she would have really loved having 
five granddaughters. I would have liked to have spent more time together. And everything just goes by very, very fast.